Dear fellow scholars, in this project, we propose a hardware-based LiDAR design that enables flexible, real-time measurements according to dynamically specified measurement patterns. We use this system to leverage the power of a CNN-based depth completion network. Our entire design is made with off-the-shelf components, with the system's two main components being the SF30C laser rangefinder from Lightwear and the Microelectro Mechanical Mirror, or MEMS Mirror, from Miracle Technologies. MEMS Mirror technology enables the precise control and speed needed to adaptively scan a scene with a pulse-based LiDAR. Our LiDAR sensor is co-located with an RGB camera and a Microsoft Connect to fully realize the benefits of data-driven approaches for depth completion and guided upsampling. In an ideal world, our system would have a separate LiDAR transmitter and receiver, and the image on the left shows just that. However, since our prototype uses the SF30C, which is sold with the transmitter and receiver as a single unit, additional optics are required. Unlike other MEMS-based systems, our mirror does not run at resonance. Instead, we use open-loop control and computer vision algorithms to adaptively change the scan pattern for a specific region of interest. We term this adaptive nature as foveation, since it increases the resolution of our LiDAR points on the object of interest. The Miracle MEMS mirror is capable of scanning a tens of kilohertz on custom scan patterns, which is sufficient for capturing most dynamic objects. Here we see our first real-time result. Notice how the scan pattern shifts and scales based on the position and size of the hand. We use a dense net-inspired encoder-decoder convolutional neural network to perform RGB guided depth completion with sparse depth measurements. With the sparse depth measurements being provided by our flexible LiDAR sensor and the guide image being captured by the co-located RGB camera. In this scene, milk is being poured from one cup to another. With the RGB image and sparse depth measurements on the left and the depth completion results on the right. 